Good morning, my beloved family. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. So, Christmas is less than a week away. We are getting ready to go to church, and then we're going to come home and have some lunch and dinner with Pop. But we want to talk about, I know so many of you have had some loss this year, losses this year. We've had losses in our family this year. Many of you have had losses. Many of you have suffered illness. And uh, boy, what a struggling last two years that we've had um, here on this earth. So still, I want to encourage you to remember the reason for this season. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. So how in the world can we have joy um, right now on this earth with such tremendous loss, um, illness, uncertainty, we can have joy, guys, because we are celebrating Christmas this year more than ever, even though we have lost um, our mother, um, our father, and um, our stepmother, Rita, and our uh, sisters in Alabama lost both their mother and father within 48 hours of each other. I lost my mother and father within eight weeks of each other, um, but you all know that I have Pop, and we are celebrating this holiday season with him, with my daughter and my family, uh, and my sister, y'all pray, is expected to fly in from Australia on, uh, I think it's Monday night our time, which will be Tuesday morning their time. We are praying Lord uh, to the Lord that, um, that this doesn't get stopped uh, for the reasons you all know. So pray about that for us today, and I can't wait to see her. She has not gotten to come home in two years, and uh, so this is going to be a great holiday season, but we are celebrating uh, this holiday season more than ever because Jesus Christ was born. He was born to die for each of us. Easter is not far away, which is when we celebrate Resurrection Sunday. So let me encourage you to remember the true reason for this season. I know a lot of People say family, getting together with family is the number one reason. And guys, that is, that's very important that we get together with our families. But we've lost some of our families. Some of you have lost some of your families. So the most important reason to celebrate this season is because Jesus Christ was born. And he appeared to the shepherds. And uh, there was a great multitude of angels telling them to rejoice. And uh, we are rejoicing because... Jesus Christ was born to die for each and every one of us to give us eternal life uh, for those for God so loved the world that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He gave his only begotten son, guys. This is why we can be joyous in the midst of tremendous loss and you can too. Um, I'm, I've been back at work um, two weeks now or actually a week and a half and um, a lot of people are like, gosh, I can't even, you know, how can you even be here? And how are you even going on? I can't believe your loss. Because our hope is in Him. Our hope is in Jesus. And our hope is that we're going to be reunited someday. And um, this is just a temporary separation. It is not permanent. And uh, I know where my parents are. I know where my family is. Um, and uh, gosh, I'm just so thankful for that. So we will be doing some more Christmas videos. Um, I want to update you on that high tunnel out there. The USDA did come out Friday, give you some news on that. So I'll probably be doing a video this afternoon and I'll try to get it up for you. But uh, right now we're headed to worship the Lord and then uh, Pop's gonna come over and we're gonna have some lunch. And uh, please pray that my sister is able to um, make it here. And please pray, and I'm praying for you too, that all of our family remains safe and healthy this holiday season. I'm praying for each and every one of you that you remain healthy and safe this holiday season. Guys, we've got to stick together in this community. We've got to pray for one another. And you guys, your comments are wonderful. And I see you praying for one another. I see you corresponding with each other. And I want to encourage that. And thank you so very much for being a part of my family. Thank you so much for your prayer covering. Thank you so much for watching us. Thank you so much for sub subscribing to us. We hope uh, that we can help you with whatever's going on here at the farm and just share our lives with you. So take care. God bless. We will be in touch. And remember, joy to the world. The Lord 
has come. Let earth receive her king. Amen and amen.